Hey everybody. Um, just gonna show you, we figure uh, there may be some people out there um, building some pretty cool Pinewood Derby cars. And we just wanted to show you the design that I came up with. Um, this is a, a CO2 powered Pinewood Derby car. And we had a fundraiser that we um, had a race, a Pinewood Derby race that has had no restrictions. So you could do the sky's the limit, anything you wanted. And this is what we came up with. Uh, and it uses, the design is kind of based around a uh, CO2 cartridge powered um, tire inflator, like for bike tires, inner tubes. And so we bought that and kind of built the, the whole car around it. Uh, it's a pretty simple design. And basically all the, this, uh, this section right here is designed so that we can take it off. And uh, on the same night that we have the no restrictions race, we also have an actual um, Boy Scout um, rules race as well. So we wanted to use the same car, the same chassis here for both races and see how well we could do in both races. So everything outside of this section right here is actually follows all the rules and all the specifications for the race. So um, this whole thing all together weighs about eight ounces. And when you want to just uh, do the normal race, then you can take this little section here off, just unbolt it, un unbolt the, these uh, four bolts, and then put this section on right here. And it just fits right, right on there. And this has, uh, this is a weighted section. It has uh, lead in the back. This whole back section here is all where the, all the lead is inside. So uh, that just bolts in where this part goes. And then you can do the standard race as well. So it kind of just looks like that going down the track. So um, so we did that first. And then we did uh, the uh, CO2 portion of the race. And um, this is kind of uh, our design here. Um, basically the way this valve works is that if you move this valve about an eighth of an inch I don't know if you can see it moving there if you move it that's uh, off and that's on right there so these uh, normally when you buy the valve there's a spring that's actually keeping it closed but what we did was took the spring out and we put uh, a number of rubber bands on both sides here so it's pulling it it's always trying to pull it inward so um and then to keep that from from going off whenever there's this little bar right here and this is a, a brass weight on the end and so this um, is lifted up and it keeps it in the up position just like that and then if you give it just a little bit of a jostle, just a little bump like this, then the weight goes down and uh, the uh, CO2 cartridge drops down and the gas goes out the CO2 cartridge in, into the body in here. And then it comes out these, these little aluminum tubes in the back. And that's where the little, that's where the thrust comes from. So um, you lift this part up and then you just put, uh, so it just locks in place and then we'll tr just show you here. When this goes down, then, oh, it's got a safety as well. So just to try that again, you pull it up and you lock it in place, push the safety all the way in. It's this, this little orange thing in here. That's the safety. You push that all the way in and then it's armed and, and ready to go. And then when that part drops down, you can see that cartridge drops down as well. So 
the last thing is how do you get the car, how do you give the car a little bit of a, like a little bit of a jostle. I keep saying jostle. Um, on the bottom of the car is this little piece of steel that folds back. And on the track, you can just prop this up. You know, it's usually up at a higher angle like this. And this actually just, you can just set this underneath the car so it's lifted a little bit. Then as soon as the gate goes and, and is lifted and it rolls, then it gives it a little bit of a, a bump, just enough for this bar to drop and then, and then it's off and running. So it's a really, actually I think it's a pretty good design. It's really reliable. Um, we never had any problems with it going off. It fired every single time. Um, what's a little bit tricky about it is to make sure that you want to get the biggest gas impulse explosion right at the beginning that you can. So this valve, I kind of had to uh, get in there and drill it out. It was tricky to open this up so you can get as much of the gas out as possible. Um, and uh, we, had to, we had to figure out how many rubber bands to add because you want this to really um, open up fast. Um, you can see here the way that this works. It's just got these uh, multiple rubber bands. We'll get these off here. And then, so the main body the chassis is just made out of a normal Pinewood Derby kit that we just kind of shaped and painted. And uh, then this back section is mostly made out of a, a material called micarta. It's like a fiberglass reinforced um, phenolic resin. So it's, you know, sort of like carbon fiber. It's pretty strong. It's heavier than carbon fiber, but um, it's a pretty good, uh, strong material to use. And that's what this section is made out of as well. And so um, this, uh, this part comes off and you can see this is just, um, so the gas goes into this little chamber here and splits off right here to two tubes and then goes out the back. And this is a little safety mechanism here you can pull this back. You can probably, I don't know if you can see that. You can pull that back and it'll hold the, hold that bar up so that you can um, put on a new CO2 cartridge. So it works really well. And then you just uh, unbolt, uh, unbolt this, and then you can put this on. You can also take this, uh, this little, uh, pin out and take this off when you're just doing the, the, the gravity wick race as well. So um, I'll add a couple of races onto this video so you can see what it looks like. Um, the, the downside of this design is just trying to figure out how to make sure you get all the CO2 gas out as quick as you can. Um, these, um, then you can also just optimize the Pinewood Derby section of this, uh, the Pinewood car for the race as well. So we've got a few degrees of, um, of angle for the back wheels and it's running with three wheels um, and designed to be a rail running car as well. So the actual car itself is, is um, it's a pretty good Pinewood Derby car by itself. Um, and then when you add this on, on there, it's, um, uh, even better. This section right here, it just is um, it's uh, the micarta as well and it just uh, clinches down on this section of the of the inflator device and it has a little lock nut right here and a little aluminum screw to, to clinch down on it. So it's, um, it's all pretty solid and it's all um, pretty robust and pretty easy to use.
and pretty quick to change the uh, the capsules. Um, you just uh, unscrew these 16 gram capsules and uh, and then screw a new one in. It's icy all around here, and the the O-rings inside kind of freeze up. But um, we were able to do like eight races, you know, in a half an hour, and it worked really well every single time. So that's our design, and we um, had a lot of fun, and it was a really good time. So if you uh, like this video, um, leave a comment. If you um, if you like or have any questions or anything, just leave a comment and. There you go. Thank you.